My advice was don't do it, you know, because I mean, it's too risky because I personally I wouldn't do it. We agreed to mask the identity of this security subcontractor who says he went with some Secret Service members to the club. He says he witnessed agents paying cash for sexual favors at the club and some aggressively and vocally offering even more money to the strippers to come back to their hotel. I just suggested that it, it, wasn't, a, it wasn't a good idea to, to have a stranger go out to a hotel and knock on your door and, and, and go in and, you know, because they, that le will leave the door open for anything to happen. But some of those guys weren't really interested in listening to your advice. It appeared that they were ignoring it. They were asking the well, guys Well, you know, I just, I threw the suggestion, you know, and I just left it at that. I mean, I wasn't going to grab him by the hands and say, hey, you know, let's go. Or, you know, I was providing a service. And that source of ours also went on to tell me at least two Secret Service agents went through with their pursuit of those prostitutes at the club. Mm. And what's interesting, Chris, you actually got wind of this long before we knew about the situation in Columbia, right? Tell us about that. Well, it is unusual that a local reporter from Seattle goes to El Salvador to break this kind of story, but I was down in El Salvador a year ago working on an investigation into a jet repair facility down there. I met this subcontractor. He told me the story. When I went to pursue it, he backed off and said he would not go on the record. He wasn't going to tell me which strip club. He wasn't going to give me any information. I've pursued the relationship over time, and after the scandal broke in Colombia uh, earlier this month. I gave him another call and he, he agreed if I flew down, he'd talk to me. Kind of scary that it's almost been an open secret down there that you uncovered. Well, what's interesting about the subcontractor is he was, he was with these guys all week and he said he even was surprised. It, you know, the strip club didn't bother him so much if um, the wheel's up and the president's gone and people have a little party. It, it didn't bother him, but what bothered him is that they bragged that they did this all the time, wherever they went in this pre-advanced team, and he thought it truly was a security risk. All right, still a lot more questions to be asked, so we'll be continue talking to you about this, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the national attention on this story continues to grow. In fact, here's a look at a few of the headlines. In the U.S., the New York Daily News, Washington Post, Chicago Tribune, and NPR all had articles up early today. The international media is also watching what happens next. Our story making news and the Telegraph out of London, the Australian, the Indian Express, and even El Mundo in El Salvador. The investigation into the Secret Service began a couple of weeks ago when a prostitution scandal was revealed in Colombia. Eight Secret Service members have been forced out because of that incident. Three others face administrative discipline. And just into our newsroom, the Secretary of Defense is now talking about the new scandal. Cairo 7's Allison Grandy and her editor have been working hard over the last hour to bring you the new reaction. Allison is here now to show you who else is getting involved. Allison. Steve, it's been a wild afternoon. As we revealed the El Salvador story, senators and cabinet secretaries have been reacting, telling Cairo 7 they're outraged by the behavior we uncovered. We flew down there to speak with witnesses who say that Secret Service agents partied hard the week before President Obama and his family arrived in San Salvador. The new Secret Service scandal uncovered by Cairo Team 7 investigators is getting national reaction. With regards to this, uh, this other uh, rumor that uh, you know, I, I was made aware of, uh, we have no investigation, ongoing investigation at this point in time with regards to those allegations. If they're true, it means it goes well beyond where the president said that there was a few knuckleheads that made a mistake uh, in Columbia. Senator Chuck Grassley of Iowa speaking to Wall Street Journal Radio. This brings up the issue then that we may have a cultural problem within Secret Service. Uh, and it may even extend beyond Secret Service. That's the big concern in D.C. tonight. That's where Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee met with the head of the Secret Service late today because of our Team 7 investigation. I want to make sure that we restore the confidence to the American people, for the American people, for this agency. The Secret Service director telling Lee he wants the facts, all of them. That, as members of Congress are calling for a large-scale investigation. I don't think in any way uh, that the agency is ignoring this. Uh, members of Congress want to make sure that we get a clean slate. 
Now, in the beginning of the day, while we were still editing our material, senators were asking us for more details. Now that we've been airing much of our investigation, we'll be checking with people for reaction, and we'll bring it to you tonight at 11. And there is so much more to this investigation. Head to CairoTV.com to read Chris Halsney's backstory, how he tracked down the club, plus see interviews Chris has done today and extensive video from the investigation. All of that and more is at CairoTV.com and here on Cairo 7 as we continue our coverage of the story.